this is the tea, y'all. Um, when I do makeup, like, like I, I did now, got this hair, this hair, you guys, this hair, but I love it. No, when I do makeup, um, I rarely, very rarely have the energy to do um, or to put on uh, hip pads, heels, outfits, and the lot, the shit, you know? When I do makeup, I just stay at the makeup, unless I'm going out. But uh, for videos, I'm, I'm either doing, you know, the hip pads and the heels, and I'm walking like in my heels and like, Mm, look at my heels, look at my walk, look at my hourglass figure, you know, but no effing makeup. And that's because um, if I do makeup, I, I'm so tired. I, I really, I, I don't want to do anything else than just take pictures and do videos. Or if I do the heel, the hip pads, you know, the whole body, then I, I don't have the energy to, to do the face. It's one of those things, you know, it's like drag. I mean, come on, it's, it has got to be one of the most, the hardest thing a man can do in life. Not only physically, but mentally also, you know, when you put in the makeup and you start, your face started to change, you become this other person and it's sort of, you, you sort of zoom in and it's like, I, I, I'm this woman, I'm this woman now and I don't, I don't really have to put on the hips. I don't really have to put on the heels because the face is the first thing everyone sees, you know? So yeah, when I do makeup, I... <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, but when I do makeup, I rarely, rarely, rarely have the energy to do the whole drag thing. Which, it's not a problem, really, but it's it's one of those things. Um, yeah. This is like really, this is a transvestite look. This is, you know, there's a movie called The Bachelor from 1984, I think. Yeah, with Tom Hanks. And there's a scene in that film where this guy, this small guy, really creepy guy, um, sees a beautiful blonde woman walking in the party and he falls head over heels with her and then she he gathers sort of the uh, courage to approach her and when he does this woman this lady she's clearly a big girl she she lifts him up like in her arms and just hi darling you know with the with the lowest voice you can imagine and she takes him to the bedroom and i remember when i was a kid i was like <laughs> that scene to me stuck out because i i don't think i've ever seen a transvestite in a film in a comedy before and to me that scene was just hilarious and this is kind of what she looks like she looked like she was kind of serving blonde 50s marilyn look and she was like beautiful but and tall but you know you could clearly see that she was you know a man a man and oh my god ever since then i sort of I sort of um, always wanted to do that, you know, blonde, bimbo-ish Marilyn look, you know, the transvestite look, like when you go to a party, it's like, hi, darling, how are you? You want to dance with me? I want to dance with you. I want to dance with you. You know, that kind of bombshell realness. So yeah, I... That's my look today. It's it's a tad clownish though. 
but uh, I like it. And I'm gonna try this look with different wigs. How about that? Voila, yet another look. Same face, different hair. And this is sort of a dark lady, you know, that cool, mysterious girl in the club. And she's holding a drink, you know, and she's ready to throw it in your face just for staring at her, you know. This is, this is her, this is her. And if you compare, like, this is very femme fatale. And the blonde bombshell, well, it's a very, very, very classic transvestite Marilyn lookalike. So yeah, you can really change your whole attitude depending on wigs. Uh, I'm not sure which one I like best or better, but it's fun to know, like, what kind of attitude you want to, like, go with. I'm kind of liking this dark bitch lady, you know, I kind of do, I kind of do. I'm going more with the black hair because I'm a Latina woman, homosexual, queer, gay woman. The thing is, when I do drag, I want to turn, you know, from a man to a woman, from a Latina to a white woman, from age 29 to age 21. You know, you want to change everything, your age, your heritage. You want to, you, you know, you want to turn it upside down, man, woman, the dark light. So yeah, but I'm thinking as of recently that I'm going to go more with the uh, dark lady look because I want to embrace my Latin heritage from the Andean mountains, you know, that kind of, that sort of lady. I want to embrace my Latin roots. Ciao! You know, I've been gagging for, for, for some clown makeup because um, every now and then I really gag for, you know, letting my inner clown out. And, you know, sometimes you want to go soft and sometimes you really want to clown it up because it's so much fun. And this is the clown look, the clown makeup but it's still gorgeous it can change your whole attitude depending on what kind of wig you wear i mean this this looks quite fierce to me and the blonde is very 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 bimbo ish you know what i'm saying this wig is so old you guys but I like it. This wig, I mean, if it wasn't for the situation in the world right now, I would I'd be out and about clubbing with this wig. And in, instead of throwing drinks, I'd be getting drinks. You know what I'm saying? That this wig is the one. This wig is the one if I want to get something done. Um you know the term, blondes have more fun. But here I am at home. Ain't nothing to do, ain't no one to see, and nowhere to go. All I can do really is put on some clown makeup and um, talk to myself. But yeah, I wanna go out clubbing in this wig. I'm gonna wash it though. I am going to wash it. Ciao.